people. So I'm going to be cleaning out the Hertz cage. We're going to be trying these utility shelves as some hides for them. So if you guys watched my what I got the pigs for Christmas video, that's where I showed them. So I'll put that up in the iCards in case you want to see it. So I am going to ask some cozy maker if they'll make me like a fleece forest to put on top of these. So any shops that I use are down in the description box below if you're interested. So yeah, I think these are going to be fun. So first off, I have to get all the beds and stuff out of their cage and condense them down to one side. So I have these dish gloves uh, to pick up all their stuff because I was having a really hard time with my hands getting very irritated with the hay and the pee and everything. So wearing these has made a big difference for my allergies because I am allergic to hay and to the guinea pigs. And with winter, my hands were just really dry. And once this stuff got into the cracks of my hand, it was so irritating and so itchy. And it was a whole big thing. So now I wear creepy dish gloves to clean and to spot clean, but it works great. I was using like disposable gloves, but that's such a waste. And it doesn't seem to bother any of the pigs either, so that's good. Okay. It's okay, Velvy. I think Apple's in here, so we'll just shimmy this over. You're okay, Velvet. I didn't mean to scare you. Hi. Hello. She was doing really good for a while, not being so jumpy, but she's kind of back to being jumpy right now. Which is always kind of frustrating, but that's velvet for you, I guess. Just for a while, she was doing so good with not freaking out, but what can you do? So I'm going to try to get everybody to go down to this side. Hello. I'll take this hay pile. Hey, pecan. You guys can have that. Velvie, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to jump out again. You picked the wrong side, girlfriend. So a new behavior between Reese and Velvet is rumble strutting each other. And I'm not sure, it kind of started to happen after Annie, after I tried Annie in the herd. So I don't know if it has to do with that, but I've been watching them both for any signs of like ovarian cysts since it is a behavior change. And that is a sign of cysts potentially, but they don't have any hair loss and their belly didn't feel like I could feel any lumps. No enlarged or crusty nipples. So I'm not sure if it's just a new dominance thing. It's just between those two. But it did um, make Apple mad, like really mad one day when they were kind of carrying on and rumbling at each other and Apple was near them. And she got really ticked off about it. She had her hackles up. She was chattering at them and she was posturing at Reese. So luckily nothing happened because my pigs don't fight. But uh, they weren't happy with each other for a few days there. So I'm going to have to pay attention to make sure nothing is going on. Or else... I'll take one or both of them in for like a proper exam. Right now it seems fairly harmless because there's nothing else along with it, but we'll keep an eye out. Because really once your pigs are like two or three and up, any pig could get ovarian cysts. Hi sweetie, can I get you to go over there? Thank you. 
so apples seeming to be doing pretty good. Um, we go back, I think it's closer to the end of January, oops, to get another x-ray just to see how her bladder looks. So who knows what's going on in there. I think she's doing all right. She's peeing right now, we'll watch her. So I just get concerned whether her bladder is just going to keep making, yeah, see, she just did a little bit of a wince. So I just am still worried that she's making chunks. So I'm trying to do everything that I can for her. And she does get a urinary tab like the Sherwood one, one in the morning, one at night. Lots and lots of water to drink. Not too much veggies so that she drinks a lot of water. So I don't know guys, I'm, I'm nervous to go back and find out. But as of right now, you know, she's doing well. And as long as they're like mini crystals or teeny tiny stones, then she'll be able to pass them. It's just I do not want to get back to having a really big one like we had. Okay. I gotta get Pecan, she gets her pain med. Cause she's got arthritis. So Pecan's over six years old now. Here we go, good girl. I might actually give Apple some because I saw her wince and we don't know what's going on down there. So my vet said that like if I think there's any trouble for any reason, if she seems uncomfortable that we're just supposed to do Medicam for her. Okay, so next I am going to get something to tidy Apple's bum just to check out how things look down there. And I put stuff on Velvet's feet because she still has dry feet. But we'll be back. Okay, up we go, pretty princess. Good girl. That's my good girl. Good job, Velvy. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yeah, you're a good girl. You're a good girl. See, it's not so bad. Right? I'm not so scary, am I? Good girl. Okay. Let's get on to putting down their liners. Really gotta make next cage clean. Gonna have to clean the base of this. Do a good sweep or vacuum up and wipe the whole base down. So what I use is just a vinegar water solution and it cleans nicely and it's safe. It is a bit smelly vinegar but the smell dissipates pretty quickly I find. So I'm not sure how I'm going to set those shelving units in here but we'll figure it out. And I'm going to keep them away from the wall so they're going to go down the center of the cage because they are low enough that somebody could jump on top of them. Is it likely? I don't think so, but I would never take the chance of them jumping on top of that. And then even thinking about jumping over the edge of the cage. So the only pig I could see jumping on top would be Raisin because she's a jumper, a known jumper. So just for safety's sake, I'm gonna make sure they're not near the outer edge of the cage. Cause you never know. You can never be too safe with pigs. If you're questioning anything about their cage, it's always better safe than sorry. Cause pigs can be pretty unpredictable and if they ever get startled, you'd be shocked what they're able to do. Same as you'd be shocked what male pigs can do if they want to get to female guinea pigs. Seen lots of crazy stories and 
of male pigs jumping up super high to get places. So anyway, that's just my two cents is if you're ever worried about something, it's better to be safe. All right, kids. Everybody go down. <laughs> Everybody over. Good job. There we go. Okay, I better get my gloves back on. Who else has allergies to guinea pigs? I know a lot of people had commented on my one video that they did. So what do you guys do to help prevent yourself from getting irritated? Because it definitely can be a challenge sometimes. Okay, I'm running out of room. I'm gonna shake those liners out later got this whole bunch to do. I was kind of slacking. It's one of those things you should just clean them out right away. Get it over with. Not let it pile up. Hey tubbies. Okay. Let's get some more liners down. And then we'll figure out how we want to set up your guys' cage. Okay, so first off, I best get them their hay pile over here. I like their main hay pile over here the most, so that they're kind of close to the other pigs, just for socialization, so that all the pigs feel like there's more pigs around. Shouldn't be touching hay with my bare hands, but I'm going to anyway. Belvy, you bonked right into the water bottle because you're being silly. So we just opened a new box of Timothy hay and it's a lot of green looks like more like second cut maybe. Angus can't have it. Uh, the day I opened it and gave it to them, all he had was mushy poops. So I cleared up his mushy poops and tried to give him the hay again, just like a small amount this time. Same thing happened. So I'm not sure what it is about that hay, but it really bugs his tummy, which sucks. He's the only one too, it was really weird. But it's definitely the hay, because he's fine without it. Okay, I'm just gonna put this back here. Can I put this over here? It's okay, sweetheart. I'm trying to, are you stuck? Okay, there, thank you. It's always awkward trying to put stuff in the cage with the skittish pig because you feel like everything you're doing is just making them nervous. Okay. So I think we will do this. 
I'll keep it away from there so that if anybody jumps up, they're not jumping up on that. I think that might be fun. We'll see what they think. For now, I'll just have to put some one by two liners down. See if, uh, while I'm tidying, we can catch anybody going in and out. Is that going to tempt you, Apple, to go check that out? Yes, one piggy, one piggy exploring. What do you think, miss? What do you think about that? What do you think? There we go. Now we got the little piggy line. Oh, we got one more. Tubby's probably not going to move. She's got food. Piggies exploring has to be the cutest thing in the world, don't you think? And I always find it really fun to set up their cages different every cage clean. So that they always have something new to check out. Well there, that makes me happy. I was starting to wonder why nobody wanted to look at the very cool setup that I gave them. So I've got to get some more pellets to put in their dish. And a couple more beds too. I was just worried my other camera maybe wasn't going to be in focus and that would have sucked. But it is. So we'll have that one camera going since my back keeps turning to what's happening. Well, I guess right now they're just in a pig pie leading, so we'll see. See, won't that be cool though if I can get the exact size with like the little fringe like this stuff is. I think that would be pretty fun. And those were super cheap. I found them online at Walmart. No, in store at Walmart. Online I couldn't find them, which was really weird, but who knows why. I'm actually shocked that nobody's coming to look at it. What a flop. Normally you set anything new down and everybody has to come see what's happening. Nobody cares. Oh, how do you see Angus? He's just peeking out, looking at Velvet. Maybe we'll make this even more fun. Is that going to tempt you, Apple, to go check that out? Yes! One piggy. One piggy exploring. What do you think, miss? What do you think about that? What do you think? There we go. Now we got the little piggy line. Oh, we got one more. Tubby's probably not gonna move. She's got food. Hey, pretty girl. You're so cute.
Do you guys see this really cool print beside me? I'll have to show that in a cage cleaning soon. I haven't used it yet. It's so pretty. Any guesses what shop that came from? Alright, I think that's probably pretty good for beds for them. Hey Tubbs, you didn't go check it out yet. What's up with that? Oh, big stretchies. You're so sweet. You're so cute. Love you, Hucky. Love you, Reese. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Well, I will talk to you later. Let me know. What do you think of our little utility racks? And let me know if you guys have found any. See you later. Bye-bye. Mr. Angus, are you spying on your neighbors? What do you see? You're such a good boy, you're being so behaved. Yeah, he's just watching these guys. So nice that he doesn't get wound up or crazy or bar chewing or anything. He just watches them. Autumn, you're so cute. See your little tiny feet sticking out? Just lay in there. Hi, mister. You're adorable. Hi, Annie. How are ya? Hi, Annabelle. Hi, pretty girl. How are you doing? So cute. Are you coming over to spy? Who is that? You gonna say hi to her, Huck? So nice though. All of them are so nice through the bars. Nobody gets crazy. Which is great. The more they can interact and be calm and peaceful, the better. Just great for socialization. I said that really weird. Socialization. Oh, are you checking it out, Tubbies? What do you think, girlfriend? What do you think? What do you have in your mouth? Look out for that floofy bum. Oh, look at Reese. Oh, well she was stretched out for two seconds. And she's up again. Are you going in? Where are you going? Where are you going? <laughs> You're so cute. Look at your little long hair. If you remember Reese is a baby, she had really long hair by her ears and on her bum. You're so funny. You just like to be pet so funny. Love you. You're so gorgeous. You're so shiny and soft. Hello, piggy family. Hey, Apple. Hey, sweetie. That's a good girl, Velvie. Staying where you're 
ini I'm going in there Tadis Belly. Well, the ray was already in there. Sorry, hon. guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching!